Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Tube, and welcome back to the second episode of the Crown Tundra. And I'm sure you have a lot of questions. Number one, why do I have the outfit on? Number two, why is there a shiny Garatina just behind me? Number three, why is there a shiny ho also in the party? Well, it's pretty simple actually, so I messed up my recording. I know, that, that doesn't sound like something that I do, I know. It almost sounds like I'm telling a lie, but see the second episode of this was supposed to uh, be us after we met the parent Met Peony the best dad in the world Peonia. Or I don't know their names. It's been a while and But that episode ended up getting corrupted because you see I didn't actually have the sound on for that episode and I ended up installing this thing to get the video back, but it Apparently crashed my computer for a week, which is why there was no uploads and the very next video came out like a week or two later Right now I'm on online school and I'm recording this before the game awards and I said this in the last episode, but Swampert is very very fast Look at this if you get on your bike he can catch up to you like look at this Considering that my bike is probably traveling 20 miles per hour, that's good speed So in the last episode that no one is ever going to see Sonya ended up coming over here she and she's in here. She ended up like catching a matang, which is really cool. And we're trying to find like the what's it called? Like the hooves of the legendaries, Ryzean, Terrakion, and Cobalion. I always get the latter two, Cobalion, Terrakion, confused. We put his pillow, that dude's pillow, on this head. And we met Calyx over here. Oh yeah, so I think they explained why all the legendaries are over here. And that, my friends, is because there's this Cosmog right here who's pulling everything in. So, that's interesting. We went around trying to gain power for Calyrex because the more people that believe in him, the stronger he is. And he's like this amazing king. Like, when he's at his full power, he can, like, he has, he can, like, see forward in time, figure out what's going to happen everything. Like, he has, like, what's it called? What's the word? Clairvoyance. Um... We met this dude, he gave us an outfit, I changed my band to be dragon type, but this does not look dragon. And I went into the Dynamax lairs and I got a bunch of Pokemon as you can see, don't worry about these guys. Now the thing that I do wanted to show off besides Aquafina, which I ended up getting this Monday, and Phoenix, which I got a little bit, is the other shiny. So fun fact, I actually got one today. Can you guess which one it is? It's Bea. Bea. I got this guy, or her I should say, when I was doing a social studies assignment for school. Because I didn't know that I had to do it. And um, I got this. I was like, please be shiny graph locked. And it was a shiny graph locked. I got Mr. Krabs over here a couple weeks ago. The same day that my computer broke, I got Gastro. I got Dr. Phil over here. Um, then when I was trying to get a Grovile, but I ended up getting a Tree Rex. And then Tree Rex. It's weird because I have the evolutions. Um, I found Goldie, which was my very first Crontage Shiny. Then I found Jello a little bit after that. Then Kiawe, and I was doing a random raid adventure, just a random one, and I got Sub-Zero. And also, fun fact, I accidentally ended up catching two Dragonairs. One was named Lance, one was Claire. And I was really disorganized, like, after Gastro, because I was just randomly doing ones. That's why most of them are not named, except for the Shinies and a couple other ones. I'm gonna rename these guys eventually in their speckles. I'm trying to currently shiny hunt for Lugia, but since I need to find someone with Lugia to shiny hunt, I have not. I have Kyogre, Latias, and Yveltal saved, because you, if you join someone else, you end up, you end up um, going into their game pretty much, and you get to hunt the legendaries that are there. What else did we do? Oh, cool. Um. Oh yeah, there's a uh, legendary clues. Let me show you those. And it's funny that I actually am going to the bag because this man ended up giving us where is it a master ball, and I, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but it was like super funny because I was like not expecting that. Oh yeah, so use this item. It's King Lots of a Harvest. The the king was riding a horse, which is like one of the horses apparently that we can get. I've seen them, and then like it was like the head is too small. The second one, I think, is the Reggies. Yeah. And it's like, let the Pokemon change something. Was int together living. So this means stone. This means snow. 
this is steel and it says when all three are together doors shall be open and then this is the bird which is about the tree and he threw his daughter down there yeah i actually don't know what else happens in the crown dungeon because i don't like spoilers like i watched her in a tube series on the isle of armor and i finished it like very recently but right now we are going to be going over to the giant's bed to find the mayor and i do have a 1.5 episode i have not spent a lot of time editing stuff because of school and hanging out with my friends see look See, this, this is pretty much like the equivalent of the, um, the what quest? The, the quest in the Isle of Armor. It's like that. Now, because of the fact that it is Christmas break, I will spend a lot more time editing because I have free time. Hey, man. But the issue with that is, like, I've, today, because it's an online day, and then next week is just a bunch of work every single day. It's like six, seven assignments. So I pretty much have to wait a week or two, and in my free time I hang out with my friends, or hunting for shinies. Yeah, that's cool. And, oh, here's one of the Reggie Temples, actually. I found this when I was playing last time, but I don't think, because I didn't save it, I don't know if I have it now. He should call us. Yeah, here we go. Beep, beep, beep. Oi, oi, it's me, Peony. How are things, Chief? What? What's that? You found something ruiny looking? That's gotta be one of those places, you know, where the ledge giants are supposed to be. You see a door with a machine right on it? I hear no one's been able to get it open. If that's all true, I think I'd call this particular adventure. The terrible Titans lurking locked away. Ha. Huh. Ha, huh, well, how's that grab you? Right then, Chief, I early, I eagerly lead the rest of this research in your hands. Talk to you later. And I'll bet you can do them in any order. Like, that's a cool thing that I think that Pokemon can get on. Slash Cannon. I didn't even know this was here. So, yeah. I'll try and edit more videos. How do I open this? I'm going on the door. Let the piercing note... Let ring the piercing note that will wake the giant to steal. Piercing note? What? I don't actually know how to get this open. Let the... Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Mark Trump. What does that say? Let ring the piercing note that will wake that will wake the giant. Wait a second, what's this? That's oddly suspicious. Oh wait, that's on both sides. Um, I don't know what this is. I don't actually know what to do. Swamper, Swamper, get over here. Swamper, come here, buddy. There we go. Let the piercing note that will awake the giant of steel. I don't know what that means at all. Okay, let's actually go interact with the Calarch story more because I think that's what I'm going to do first. I do want to meet the birds because like you have to interact like a special cutscene. Right. I don't have time. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then they like go different places. I think in the Crown Tundra. Is it Lotter or Raccoon? Is I can just go there right now I can read the cutscene. But I'm not because I need to stay on the path. Also, there should be an Aerodactyl somewhere around here because I told you I've already done this before. And I was up to this point. Oh, maybe because it's raining. Frick. Yeah, here he is. Alas, this view is no good either. The soil is barren. No crop could possibly grow here now. Perhaps the lines of the clown trunk are surely beyond hope. Where's my voice? So what? What's this? Oh, our dear visitor. What brings you here? Huh? We want to learn about the, the loyal state of the King of Bountiful Harvest? Well, this is hardly the place for storytelling. Come to my home in freezing tin. It's better to have a nice shot of the warmth, after all. Please visit whenever you're ready. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Metal cans. <coughs> okay. <coughs> the old men voice heard my voice. Alright. Let's go back. I am very sorry that you guys didn't get to see the actual episode 2. Because this is technically 3. I don't really need Verizon. But in this... Part of the game, the coldest part, that's where Verizon is. Which makes the least sense, because, you know, it's grass type. Like, why would you put the grass type where the ice is? Okay, now we read some notes, and then that's where I was left off. Have you seen what's happened to the Statue of the King of Bountiful Harvest? Its head has become massive. Hmm? You say that's the way the king is supposed to look? Now that you mention it, it does resemble the design on a town souvenir shirts. But you speak as you've seen the king with your own eyes, just wait. That statue's been broken since I was a child. Da, da, da. Oh, of course. Oh, you wanted to learn about the loyal state of the King of Bountiful Harvest. I don't know why you'd be interested in such things. Well, come then. Follow me. Then you'll see. Follow, 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 follow. 
But the pin sits hard to swallow. An old book I read long ago said that the king of those he was bringing me from the term vegetable. My memory isn't what it used to be. I can't exactly call what this deed so desired. I think it best that you search on the bookshelf over there if you want to find out any more. Oh, he has a carving. That's cool. I forgot about that. So, it gives you the option to, like, choose which one you want. I don't exactly know how, but it's, like... It's all folktale. No one knows what's true or not. So let's read the first one. The king was a great Pokemon that brought abundance to our cold land. With a sweep of its right hand, the land would be blanketed in verdant grasses and blooms. With a sweep of its left hand, the fruit of the fruits, the fruit of the fields would ripen and grow heavy. Its great crown of green gleaming, the king gods would cross the land to stride his proud steed. And in their footsteps, buds would burst from the soil when rich life was born across the land. And so we worshipped the Pokemon and paid all, it all tribute as king. Of course, Pokemon gave over its power to serve the king, carried hither and thither. The two even became one for a time, combining their strength to create a forest in a single night. The proud seed had been a wild thing once, ravaging the village's crops and causing much woe. But the king, all his greatness, brought this spirit creature to hail and secured its loyalty. And for each among us who claimed the seed's eyes hide was black as the midnight gloom in which ghost appeared, there was another who claimed it as white as a block of solid ice, ice and ghost type. And life can now say which is the truth. Now these reigns of the king send its power in order to tame and control its proud steed. The reins, in fact, were made by the hands of the people, and thanks for the plenty brought by the king. These reins bound not only the horse and the king to one another, they bound the people to the king as well. At the dawning of each year, we must never forget to gift the king with this offering. Let the radiant flower and the mane of the steed be woven together to bind us all in faith. The secret of the sacred art be passed from parent to child to child and never, parent to child to grandchild and never forgotten. No, they actually did forget that, so that sucks. Wall carrots can be grown in the cotton tundra. They have rather unusual growth habits. When grown beneath the heaped snow, low tardy was developed into ice root carrots. When grown in charts close to where many souls relate to rest, shade root carrots will be your crop. Shade root carrots are a favorite treat for many ghost type Pokemon, while ice type Pokemon seem to delight in ice root carrots. In quite old fairy tales, I see that the king of Battle of Hearts wrote upon and loved both of these varieties, so perhaps one or the other. Records seem to contradict one another, with some sort of speaking of a white seed delighting in ice roots, and others mentioning a black seed devouring shade roots. I read the books on the bookshelf. I did read the books on the bookshelf. I don't know where I'm supposed to go here. Oh, I just leave. Oh, here, here, hey, hey, hey. I think I actually did see this cutscene. I didn't see the rest of it, which is funny. Yeah, uh, Peony's daughter, because it's Peony and then it's Peonia. His daughter's kind of a prick. Like, I don't want to be, that's not the right face. I don't want to be rude or anything, but like, she can be a prick. But she is nice. She, she has her qualities. Crow, wow, crow. He speaks to Peony's body, I should say. Hmm. Oh, hey there, Chief. I had a feeling someone called me. Was it you? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, that's what happened. Human child, were you able to find something about my out about my loyal steed? Yes. You say you found something about that my loyal steed could not resist? It has been so long since we rode together that I had completely forgotten. With this information, we may be able to lure my loyal steed to me yet. So tell me, what is it that my loyal steed would find irresistible? Both of the horses exist in the same universe, but you can only summon in one. But theoretically, you could bring in the other, which could be cool. Like how they do Reshiram, Zekrom, and Hiram, it's Calyrex and the two horses. For the story, you can only summon in one, and the other is lost forever. Wait, but then how... But then, what do you... Wait, but how would you complete the the decks? Because you need both horses to... Okay, that's confusing. Care. Because you would need... Okay, that's confusing because I just realized you would need every legendary and every thing to get the whatever you get. I think it's that golden thing in the jig, that golden suit. Oh, oh, carrot, you say? Yes, yes, I remember now. Even back when we were together, I'd leave it any chance to eat some kind of crop. Do everything I had to restrain it. Looking back, her up must have been carrots. I'm in your debt, human child. What we must do now is clear. If we are to find carrots, summer should be but a triple. A trifle to floor my loyal steed back to me. What is a trifle? I wondered if the humans would really grow any carrots. Are you able to even if we could obtain a, even a single seed, I could grow a carrot from it myself. My name is Optimus Prime. In order to find the king's beloved seed, I'll need to first get my hands on his favorite food carrots. Maybe the people feed him up. Well, I don't want to go for that because I learned about it last time. 
where are autonomous robotic organisms because this fat dude is hard keeping the carrots to himself. Carrots. Uh, <laughs> I wonder for this point, nobody can bear the war in the field to make our crops grow. Here are the seeds I promise. Now I'm going to choose. Actually, I'll save which one I'm going to choose if I haven't already said it. Of course they are. Greedy ass. You have found the carrot sandwich out? Yes. By well, the stars. You said that you have carrot seeds, so turn back and hands the seeds of carrots. You hear me never stop adapting and evolving. I am currently amazed by your ingenuity. Well then just go on TikTok or Twitter and you won't be amazed. And yet, hmm, the fields of the village simply won't do. They're not suited for growing carrots. If you'd find rich soil, I could use my powers to grow the seeds with need. Now where we find soil suited for growing these crops in the center of mine. Zawaldo. I don't know what that is. Oh, I see she's about to my set on knees. One is a fair covenant for scenes, though. The other is where we just met that dude. Right there. Yes. And that's part of the feedback here. So I'm worried those two. I'm going to wait to rest. I am choosing the ice one. Either one of those locations should allow me to use my powers and go across my knee. Please ask you to choose a field and plant those seeds. My name is not Optimus Prime. I am on crack. <sighs> what are the... I see you getting in the habit of falling asleep outside. Gaha, I guess I just go show their own on the floor. and all that easy. Take care of yourself, Chief. Don't overdo it. I love this dude. I literally... He's the best character in the game. Count Hunter is better than the Out of Armor. And... The main game, I think. Upon hearing with that, I was able to find carrot seeds. Kalar told me about two fields where I could grow the little carrots. I need to pick either field covered in some or the one by grave to plant. Now, I've actually not been that far out to this, this one. Where is it? I've never been over here. What, Trader? What? Oh, cool. Like, I've actually never been to this one up here. Nor have I been down there yet. It's kind of big. Like, that's like the size of like the half of the main map. I'm gonna go up here. What's in here, actually? Roaring Sea Caves, isn't that like the beach side, like, where you find avalugs and stuff? I want to go there too, that looks fun. Alright, looks like we're going to be exploring a bunch of the place today. Let's see what runners are going to, uh, oh, come on! Not Nani! Sing that song with that King Sea Pokemon. Oh, of course, my dear, I'd love to. That's red carrots, cold as ice, a must all a bite, bully and eyes. Shred root carrots, dark as doom, crunched by the bully with the ghostly gloom. Now you make sure they make sure you eat your vegetables too. Let the Pokemon in the song, that way you can help me sound, that way you can sound like Carrie Perry, Carrie, 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 Perry too. Yes, man, ever since you left the city, you, you, you. Here we go. Daily dose of high-pitched singing. Let's see what we can go catch at that s- Hey, Hello there? Now we gotta go past here. We're not getting uh, Mr. Ghostly over here. We're going to be getting the Ice King. Oh, it's down here. Wait, what is down here? I haven't been here either. Ew, I thought that was an impidim. That's kind of creepy. Oh, there's just a random doll here. Okay, look. Let's go up to the thingy majigger at the top. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I... <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Come I don't know if I said this, but you know that giant dead white tree? I think that's just that tree, the red one, but alive. Now, the only issue with this is I think my team is about to die, so I can't really do anything. Ah, pressure. Give you the pants. Give you a jetpack. Give you a gun. You don't want the gun. I could do this all day. <laughs> I mean, if you have like a grass move, then maybe not. But like, I should be fine if you just have stone. Yeah, like, I was already slower anyways. I shall give you pants. I shall give you a jetpack. I shall give you a... I don't know what else to give him. Give you a jetpack. Give you a Monster Musume manga. They really wanted that Monster Musume manga. And I don't blame you, Monster Girls rock. 
funny because it's a it's, it's a rock type, so I think color is actually evolving. That's my case. I really want a pink dragon, like a shiny one. Like, I have a bunch of shinies, so that is so cool. Like, as much as you wish it could have looked more like Dragonair, that looks amazing. Okay, it's Pokedex. It's kind of hard to put one. If it spots a drowning person in Pokemon, Dragonite must, simply must help them. What are you gonna learn? Hurricane, that's not bad. Oh, but your Musa's already, per like, really good. Okay. Confusion, when we could paralyze, and when we could use Blizzard. Let me get rid of Scale Shot, because we don't really need Scale Shot. Now, if I give you a wide lens, we'd be set. And now it's only a matter of time until everyone else evolves. Oh yeah, we did catch you. This is a ferocious Pokemon from ancient times. Apparently even modern technology is incapable of producing a priority for its specimen. This still is the rock type. This is the watch right here. Hold up. What can you give me? I I hard to combine with this. What do you say it's hard like? So the real Africans. Heck no. Hmm. Whoa, hold up. Quick ball, timer ball, luxury. All good. Substitute reversal outreach. Not bad, not bad. These three things are where I'm gonna come back. Those are like my favorite Pokeballs right there. Like actually. Right now, this is a new area. We have to experience this. This is Glalie. Get away from me. There we go. Bear tick. Also get away from me. Oh! A Beldum! Wait. And yeah, this thing is going to be hard to The problem with, like, the Crown Tundra, or not the problem, I think I should just say out loud, is most of the Pokemon that you can find, the new ones at least, are in the dens. Like, you can't find any of the starters. Oh, Quirk Cap. You can't find any of the legendaries. Except for the new ones. And the Reggies. Rick, it was gonna be difficult. I offer you a jetpack. Or if you Monster Masume comic, watch this. Waluigi for Smash. I guess he's not a Waluigi supporter. Are you for real? How's that even physically possible? That did so much damage. Oh, it's right here. Huh, interesting. All right, Flint. Wally. See if he's one of the fields. Just carry him the whole way. Ice, ice, baby. I have been fancy to see that today. Yes, I'm sure. Very well. Then I still plant the seeds. You go help me catch this Beldum over here. Pat, pat. <laughs> very good, very good. You have a able hand for looking for it. Time I did my part. Let me show you my powers. Time to cut to black. Okay, Legend of Zelda. Rumble, rumble. <gasps> you planted so many seeds, and yet my heart is going to eat fury at one. Saying I had fallen so low, it truly wrecked my heart. But soon it would be time to bring my soul for a while. Not him, time. As you both say, I with all your might. I have the power! Yeah, I should care. Alright. But that human child, that can't be the key to lowering my seed back to me. Now all I need are the ruins of unity. They will amplify my power of letting me revive my loyal seed with ease. Now I doubt I shall ever get another step from the humans in the village. Oh! <gasps> it's already here! Whoa, 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 it's already here! Hi! It's, it's the forest! What? Glacier? Oh, his name is Glacier. My loyal seed, is it truly you? That glistening white pelt, that rough violet gallop. It has not changed from the day we first met. Oh, how this brings back memories. Triforce, seven times fold. <laughs> it is my lead that while well, my steed picked up with the scent of the carrot, connected her with someone's coming from. Judging one of the direction, we're not going to be headed to the village and turn the pillars carrot there. That is true, the freezing tenor is in danger. We must take haste. We got it down the current side. 
of Legendary Clue 1. Halloran was able to grow an ice root carrot from the seeds I planted in the field covered in snow. The scent of the carrot lowered Glacier out, but it ran off toward freezing him. Man, that is tough, but I don't have to worry about that because I am done for today. I shall see you guys next time. Have fun.